Welcome to TechSibo.com. This is part 38 of creating responsive website with ASP.NET and Bootstrap. If you haven't watched the previous videos, either you watch the video or download the project files and database, links in the description. In this video, we are continuing the migration of our entire project Bootstrap 4.5. Today we are going to migrate the pending components. First, let's fix buttons. Open the sign in page, the here button is not visible. This is because if we check our code, you can see that we use btn default class. So in bootstrap 4.5 this class is deprecated. They renamed btn default to btn secondary. So here we can use btn primary. So change all our class to the new one, so follow the steps. Click save all and see the result. Here we missed fixing one of the footer section in the last video. Now open our products page, here our product page is messed up. This is because the thumbnails class is dropped entirely for the new card component. So change our class. Now it looks fantastic. Now the product name area does not have much spacing. Also, the caption class is gone in this version of Bootstrap. So we are going to use the built-in spacing classes. Bootstrap includes a wide range of shorthand responsive margin and padding utility classes to modify an element's appearance. M for classes that set margin. P for classes that set the padding. Also, the sides T, B, L, R represent the top, bottom, left, and right respectively. X class set both left and right and Y set both top and bottom. So in our case, we can use P2, this set a padding of 2 for all sides. Also, we can add some padding to the bottom of the brand name, so we can use pp1. That means padding bottom. Now our product page is ready. Now go to product details page here in mobile there is some padding needed, so let's fix that. Now the product details page looks good. Now move on to the cart page. Here we missing the row class to the top division. Here we use media object class to our division. In media object media left is moved. So we can use shorthand codes.
Now add padding to the price section. Now our cart page is fixed. Now moving to the payment page. Here also we missing the row class to the top division. Change the float class. Next, tweak some code for our form section. Now our form section looks more professional. Now moving to our payment method section. Here we are used tab, so in this version of Bootstrap, there are some changes in tabs also. First, add nav item to the list class. Then add nav link. Finally, add the show instead of in. Now our project is migrated to Bootstrap 4.5. You can work with a lot of new features of Bootstrap with the help of documentation. That's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up, it helps our channel a lot, and don't forget to click the bell icon. Thank you.